Today I got a new skillet from Lancaster Cast Iron. This is the number eight skillet, it's 10 and a half inches diameter. I can tell you right now by picking this up, it's a little bit lighter than my lodge, but what I really notice is how smooth it is. I'm gonna get a scale, and we're gonna compare this to my lodge 10 and a half inch skillet. Okay, so before we uh, weigh these, let's go get a quick comparison. You can see the size, it's just about the same. The Lancaster cast iron skillet does not have a helping handle, but with it being a little bit lighter, I don't think that's uh, necessary. Also, I noticed on, on the Lancaster one, that it's got a little bit bigger pour spouts. Got a beautiful design on the back. You could definitely hang this up in your kitchen. So let's go ahead and get these on the scale. Gonna weigh these in pounds. Okay, the lodge is five and a quarter pounds. This one's weighing in at four and a quarter pounds. So you're saving a pound, which I don't think you need that extra pound to get a good sear. So it's gonna make it a little bit more responsive to heat and definitely gonna make it nicer to handle, easier to pick up, because you know these get pretty heavy, especially when they're full. The instructions say, all you need to do is wash it with soap and water before you first cook and use a little bit of extra oil. I think we're gonna go ahead and give this a quick season before we cook anything in it. All right, let's get this pan heating up. We're outside on the Camp Chef two burner stove. I'm gonna set this to medium heat. This thing gets hot quick. Okay, this pan's been preheating for about a minute or so. We're gonna go with a little bit of avocado oil. You always get a terry cloth towel. I prefer them over paper towels because sometimes the paper towel will leave lint behind. And you want to wipe out any of the extra oil. Because if you have too much oil, it will become sticky. Wipe it all the way around the handle. And then I'm going to take the excess that's on the rag and I'm going to wipe the bottom and the sides. You can see that it's a nice thin coat of oil. You don't want to go too heavy on the oil. Very thin. Could repeat this process a couple times once it smokes off but I think we're gonna try it once and then we're gonna fry an egg and see how we did okay you can see that smoking it means we're getting close we want to wait till the whole pan looks dry and I'm gonna go ahead and rub it down again with this rag just to make sure that there's no excessive oil in any spots because like I say that makes it stickier Ooh, this is such a smooth feeling pan We're gonna let that smoke for about another 30 seconds. I'm gonna shut the heat off and let it cool. Then we're gonna fry an egg and some butter. Okay, let's go ahead and shut this off. I will wipe it one more time. Still plenty hot. It's gonna keep seasoning. Pick that up. Look at that bottom. I love the bottom. Beautiful design. Nice weight. It's not too heavy. I also wanted to mention this cast iron seasoning that I got with the pan. It's made out of beeswax, grapeseed oil, safflower oil. Uh, it's made right in Lancaster, Pennsylvania along with the pans. The recommended instructions for this are to put a thin coat on the pan and then place it in a 480 degree oven upside down for one hour. Uh, we're gonna go with the conventional seasoning method for now. This is definitely uh, gonna hang on to this and uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We're gonna cook an egg and uh, if we get some, the egg to stick, then maybe we'll try this next. Going in with about two tablespoons of butter. Make sure it's all the way down to the lowest setting. This uh, propane stove gets really hot. Going a little extra uh, generous with the butter. I just want to make sure nothing sticks this first cook. Okay, crack the eggs. Somebody can leave in the comments, I'm doing it wrong. Should crack those on a flat surface. All right, we'll come back in a minute.
One little spot there stuck, but not bad. Look at those eggs. Okay. Don't know about you, but I prefer my eggs over easy. Look at that. Okay, these eggs are all done. Just gonna get them on a plate. I'm not wasting that butter. That butter's going on top. Perfect eggs. There's the pan. All we gotta do is wipe this pan out, put it back on the heat for a minute, and it'll be ready for our next cook. Okay, I'm sure you can see it now. This pan's starting to smoke. Let's go ahead and turn the heat off. Careful, it's gonna be hot now. And we're just gonna rub that around. Any of that extra butter that was left over, rub that around. And again, we're gonna do the back side, all the sides, all the sides of it. Okay, that pan is ready to cook for next time. In fact, you know what? Let's go and give this a try. I got their, this is their cast iron seasoning. We're just gonna get a little bit. Wow, this stuff is tough. It's hard, very hard. So a little bit on a rag like that, not much. And just wipe it, wipe it in there. You can smell the beeswax in there. Ooh, it smells good. It smells like honey. We'll wipe that around again. Really, you're gonna cherish this pan. The good thing about cast iron is it'll last a lifetime. This pan's not inexpensive compared to some pans, but when you're looking at a lifetime investment cooking for you and your family, it's it's pretty minimal. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, head over to Instagram, give me a follow at RustyBBQLamb, and everything else you're supposed to do to help support my new and upcoming YouTube channel. Thanks again.